Okay, so in today's video I would like to show you how we can read out um, an analog input variable from this uh, smart PLC, um, read it into our SCADA server which resides on this PC, uh, use an integrated spider PLC logic function which then calls a Python uh, function which calculates um, a multiplication, returns the value to the SCADA server and the SCADA server writes it to a register of this S7 1200. So if I turn uh, the analog input here, we see the value changing, we see the value in our SCADA changing. Um, it will call uh, the uh, Python function over here, which runs the Python script, which uh, is got executed right here. Um, and it writes back um, to the register in this S7-1200 PLC. So the next question will be how can you do that at home? Uh, first thing I suggest is to download the respective components. So first uh, go to our homepage spidercontrol.net, uh, refer to the download section Go to download area and choose for a SCADA server. So the thir first thing we download is the SCADA editor which we will use later on. And what you need here is the SCADA web server with Spider PLC for a standard Windows uh, 10 PC. Um, and this version right here includes uh, the Spider PLC, which has this interface to call external functions from Python or from Node.js or also other stuff. So go to checkout, uh, enter your email, and finally download and install um, the two components to the suggested uh, installation paths. Second thing, uh, go to python.org go to the download section and just download this um, suggested version for Windows and do the installation. Um, after having installed uh, the SCADA server you will have the SCADA control panel showing uh, the success of the installation and uh, so the default working directory of this thing is uh, cwww slash hmi um, inside this installation we have uh, prepared um, some scripts which you will find in uh, cwww.hmi.scdefault slash script and inside this folder we've got uh, this python um, script implementing a couple um, of functionality including the function dispatcher which is needed as an interface to spider control and we've got a simple uh, batch file uh, to start uh, this web server. I suggest to copy these two files to the installation directory um, of your Python installation um, in order uh, so you can uh, start um, the web server right here. So next thing we do is we open um, the, the home page of the SCADA web server which you will find on localhost, uh, probably port 8080 if you modified it. We open the web editor which shows uh, this browser based tool to program function block description logic and simple HMIs. We will open uh, the FPD editor and add a new view which will open and we would like now to program a little logic which will call uh, this multiplication um, function from Python. First thing we need, we'll add um, three input objects, put them in place. And an output. We will switch over to user logic and add this uh, Python function uh, having two arguments and a trigger. We will uh, connect our inputs 
and connect the output. For the trigger, we would like to um, have a logic uh, which makes sure that the function is only called once. And to do so, we have a rising edge uh, trigger function which will be connected to this trigger input. We will also add a little button which simplifies um, the way to operate this operation uh, during debug. So we'll now uh, connect. First, we will uh, need internal registers just to make it um, easier to test the function once before we later then connect to the PLC variables so we can use internal registers. First register we will use is R170 for operand 1. We use R171 for the second. We use R172 for the trigger input. We will connect this button to the same R172 register and we will write to the output R175. Uh, we now also have to configure uh, the function that we would like to call. Uh, so the function is called mod and is implemented in our Python script. If we have a look at this Python script, uh, you will find um, a dispatcher function uh, where you can add your own function call, which will uh, call. So you have to add this to the dispatcher function and call and implement the function right here. So this is the implementation of this multiplication function, which we will now call from within Spider PLC. Okay, so we've got connected everything, we will exit, we will make build and run, save and start the debugger. Go to our page, um, enter some operands and call the function. So the result comes here and can be found um, in the output register. So, what we can also see is um, when we press um, this button, how the console shows uh, the function being called from uh, this uh, Spider PLC runtime. Um, the example we had before was, of course, um, also connecting to uh, external PLC variables. To connect the external PLCs, we will now use um, our PC-based editor in order to configure the respective drivers. To configure drivers, you first have to make a new project and um, start this wizard. We can just uh, Uh, put the project uh, in, in the working directory, uh, just take the defaults here, finish. Uh, so the next important thing is uh, to define these drivers. Um, we will have one, the first driver uh, using ISO TCP to connect the SIMATIC PLC. The type will be a 7400. You will need to enter the IP address of the PLC rack number is 0 and slot number is 1 the second PLC is uh, using our CGI bin communication protocol the only thing you have to configure here is the IP address um, of this PLC and you're done. Um, you have to uh, deploy um, and download the project 
So go through the build process and have it deployed to this uh, CHMI um, folder. Um, you then should usually do um, a restart um, of your web server to in order to load uh, the new driver settings and we're now able to connect to PLC variables. Um, the respective logic have already implemented right here. So it's um, the same thing calling um, this multiplication. Um, but instead I have here uh, the variable called PLC1 RT0 AI2. This is the analog input. Um, I have added um, an automatic trigger function uh, using a timer which just gives me a timestamp um, then using um, a rising edge trigger um, so this logic will send the trigger each second calling the function uh, each second um, and we've got um, a little logic to write to this um, register of the S7-1200 uh, which is called PLC0 DB1.DBW6 and uh, this function here writes only when the value has changed so using this enable trigger function and logic works like that so we copy uh, the output value to an internal register called R160 we will reuse this register uh, and compare it with this um, equal functionality with the previous result. We'll invert the result, have a positive rising edge trigger, which will then generate us um, this uh, signal to write to the Siemens. We make an exit, do build and run and start the debugger once again and we see um, on this page how the execution is now done automatically so if I change the input uh, value um, of this analog input the output will react respond correspondingly and write to the register.